Do you know what habits might be keeping you poor? It's a question we often fail to ask ourselves, yet it's crucial to our financial well-being. We all have habits, some good, some bad, and some that, without us even realizing, impact our financial status in a significant way. Today, we're going to delve into this topic and shed some light on eight common habits that, believe it or not, could be keeping you from achieving your financial goals. These habits are often overlooked, hidden in our day-to-day -day routines, silently eating away at our wealth. They may seem harmless, but their effects can be far-reaching and detrimental to our financial health. The good news? Once we identify and understand these habits, we can take steps to overcome them, paving the way to financial freedom. Ready to uncover these habits and learn how to overcome them? Stay tuned. First up is the habit of paying yourself last. Now, you might be wondering what this means. Well, it's a common practice where you cover all your expenses, first bills, groceries, leisure, you name it, and then save whatever is left at the end. Sounds familiar, right? The danger here is that often, there's not much left to save. This approach doesn't prioritize your future financial health. So, what's the alternative? It's simple yet profound, pay yourself first. This means setting aside a portion of your income for savings as soon as you get paid, before you spend on anything else. It's about treating your savings just like another bill that needs to be paid, but this one is an investment in your future. There are many ways to make this a habit. Automate your savings, set savings goals, create a budget that includes savings as a line item. These steps can help ensure that you're not left at the mercy of what's left over after expenses. Remember, make yourself a priority and pay yourself first. Secondly, let's talk about bad debt. Not all debts are created equal, my friends. There's good debt like a mortgage or a student loan, which can help you build wealth over time, and then there's bad debt, the kind that keeps you poor. This typically includes high-interest debt like credit card debt or payday loans. These kinds of debt can trap you in a cycle of making minimum payments while the interest keeps piling up. It's like you're running on a financial treadmill, not getting anywhere and sweating buckets. So, how do we combat this? Well, it starts with being smart about your spending. Resist the urge to splurge on things you don't need, especially if you're borrowing money to do so. Next, prioritize paying off your high-interest debts. Consider seeking professional advice if you're struggling. And remember, it's okay to say no to bad debt. Avoid bad debt like the plague, it's a wealth killer. Third on our list is not having a three to six month buffer. Think of it as a financial umbrella, shielding you from the unexpected storms of life. This buffer, also known as an emergency fund, is crucial in maintaining your financial health. Without it, you're just one unexpected bill away from financial stress. But how do you start building this buffer, you might ask? Well, it's simpler than you think. Start by setting aside a small portion of your income each month. It doesn't have to be a big amount. Even the smallest contribution can add up over time. Another great way to build your buffer is by cutting back on non-essential expenses. Evaluate your spending habits and see where you can make adjustments. Maybe it's brewing your own coffee instead of buying it, or perhaps it's canceling that gym membership you hardly use. Remember, a financial buffer is your safety net. Start building yours today. Before we continue, if you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more valuable content. Each click, each interaction really means a lot to us, and it's a super easy way for you to support the channel. Plus, you wouldn't want to miss out on all the helpful tips and tricks we've got lined up for you, right? All right, let's continue with the list. Moving on to the fourth habit, lifestyle inflation. It's the phenomenon where, as your income increases, so does your expenditure. You start living larger, spending more, and before you know it, you're running just to keep up. It's a treadmill that's hard to step off, and it can lead to serious financial troubles down the line. It's easy to fall into the trap of lifestyle inflation. We all want to reward ourselves for our hard work, right? But here's the thing. While it's great to enjoy the fruits of your labor, it's crucial to do so responsibly. Think about it. If every time you get a raise or a bonus you upgrade your lifestyle, where does it end? Remember, more money doesn't necessarily mean more happiness. So how do you avoid falling into this trap? Set a budget and stick to it no matter how much your income increases. Save and invest wisely. And most importantly, learn to appreciate the simple things in life. Don't let your lifestyle inflate with your paycheck. Keep it in check. Fifth on our list is expensive habits. We all have our vices, be it that daily artisanal coffee, the penchant for designer brands, or even a smoking habit. While these might seem like harmless indulgences, they can quickly add up and take a significant toll on your finances. Imagine this. If you spend $5 daily on a cup of coffee, that's around $150 a month, 
and nearly $2,000 a year. That's a substantial amount that could be better utilized or invested. So, how do we tackle these expensive habits? First, identify them. Track your spending and see where your money is going. Once you're aware of these financial drains, you can start making changes. Opt for a home-brewed coffee, look for affordable yet stylish clothing or seek help to quit smoking. Remember, it's not about completely denying yourself pleasures but making smarter, more economical choices. Expensive habits can drain your wallet, make the switch to more economical choices. Sixth, we have the habit of focusing too much on saving. This might sound counterintuitive, right? But here's the deal. While saving is undeniably important, obsessing over it can be a deterrent to wealth accumulation. This is because the money you're diligently tucking away in your savings account is, for the most part, idling it's not generating any significant returns. Now let's shift our focus to investing. It's like planting a seed and watching it grow over time. The returns from investments, especially when compounded, can be a game changer for your financial health. So, the key is to strike a balance between saving and investing. So, how can you start? Begin with a little research. Understand what investing is and the various options available. Start small, perhaps with a low-risk investment. As you become more comfortable and knowledgeable, you can then diversify your portfolio. Saving is important but don't forget to invest, it's your ticket to wealth. Seventh, we're looking at paying too much in taxes. Now don't get us wrong, paying your fair share of taxes is not only legal, it's the right thing to do. However, there's a difference between paying what's due and paying more than necessary. Overpaying taxes can be a significant drain on your financial resources, money that could be better used for saving, investing, or even just enjoying life. So how do you avoid this pitfall? It's all about understanding the tax system and optimizing your payments. For instance, are you aware of all the deductions and credits you can claim? These can range from education expenses to home office deductions and even certain medical costs. Moreover, consider the benefits of tax-advantaged accounts such as a 401k or an IRA. These can provide significant savings on your tax bill while helping you prepare for the future. Don't overpay your taxes. Make sure to take advantage of all the deductions and credits available to you. Finally, the eighth habit is waiting too long to invest. Have you ever heard of the term compound interest? It's a powerful tool that grows your money exponentially over time. Think of it as a snowball rolling down a hill, gathering more snow and growing larger the longer it rolls. That's how your money behaves in the world of investing. The sooner you start, the bigger your financial snowball gets. Now you might be thinking, I don't know the first thing about investing. That's okay, there are plenty of resources out there to help you get started. You can explore low-risk options like index funds or robo-advisors, or maybe take an online course about stocks and bonds. The key is to start somewhere, no matter how small. Remember, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. Don't wait to invest. The earlier you start, the more your money can grow. And there you have it. Eight money habits that might be keeping you poor. From putting yourself last and accumulating bad debt, to ignoring a safety net and succumbing to lifestyle inflation, expensive habits, excessive focus on saving, paying too much in taxes and delaying investments, we've covered them all. It's time to flip the script and rewrite your financial story. Start changing these habits today and watch your financial health improve. Thanks for watching.